Well, never afraid to fix the opposition with that force ball running of his. At 12, his role is slightly different, but his importance to this Blues team remains an absolute given. The Glasgow Warriors about to join the Blues on the pitch. They were pretty boxed in themselves at the start of their pull, conceding over 50 points to the champions Toulon, but they bounced back in that match and won here against Exeter and went to the Blues last week in decent shape. Now they have to grab it back again and quickly, otherwise it will all be over. Rory Jackson has this running battle with Duncan Weir at regional, international level. It's Jackson who starts today as Glasgow look for what they didn't have last week, control. Well, if any man epitomised Glasgow last week, it's that man, Nico Matawalu. You couldn't take your eyes off him, but there was always a hint that the tactical acumen was missing. His presence in the starting 15 ahead of Chris Custer suggests that Gregor Townsend is still looking for a pacey performance, if a little bit narrower, yet again tonight. Pascal goes there, is the referee. Scotston has not been the place Glasgow wanted to be over the last couple of matches. Beaten here. Another defeat today, as I say, would signal the end of their qualification hope, surely. The Blues lost here 22 15 in the opening game of the uh, first well, 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 season in September. Well, tonight has the Heineken Cup shootout feel as round four so often does for some. Captain Black. Pink. Here we go then. Very different sort of surface, although after the warm-up from both sides, it's held up pretty well. Scrums and that kind of activity may lead to a different sort of outcome. There's been a lot of rain in these parts over the last week. Here's Lloyd Williams. And Rory Watts-Jones. Getting his chance in the back row with no Sam Warburton. And Josh Navidi also Where out injured. Navidi almost fit. Warburton not too Red. far off, we're told. But they went well last week, the Cardiff Blues. No need to uh, panic with Cook and Watts Jones wearing six and seven. Copeland at eight. They were a very effective unit. Here's Williams again. Only ball then for the side with two victories in this pool. An early penalty for the home team. They were being patient, they were building. Just lost their visible, discipline. Okay. Well, on the Seven, super slick Carl Barnes Park surface. Matawalu may have gone, but tonight it is soft, it's slippery. We've been walking on this Seven. pitch. It had a deluge about an hour and 40 before kickoff, and Jackson and Glasgow will take their time. It's a day when the basics have to be very good. The little errors will make a big difference. And, and while Glasgow have cleared their line, they will not be happy with this restart. Under no real pressure, Jumper doesn't get off the ground. And that's really poor there. Ryan, will, uh, Ryan Wilson, first game back here for five months, isn't it? And he just didn't get any position at all there. Yes, he got the big build-up on the tannoy before he ran out first game after that long time out with injury best part of six months in fact with that shoulder problem his first game back at home fans delighted to see him he's a talent no doubt about that now glasgow last week you sense would have loved to have kept it a bit tighter at times and rolled into that fast game they can play a fast game themselves but certainly played into the Blues' hands, and they played the ball into Blues' hands there to Comedis bringing the ball away. And it's been pulled out of the Premiership. Here's Halfpenny and Cuthbert, the two lines. Cuthbert just brought to the ground. Scored that try last week. Two more in the competition this season after five in the Heineken Cup last season from Alex Cuthbert. Not always in a winning team. 
the breakdown work from Glasgow. They've really tried to address that this week. And there goes Madawano. Quickly away, finds his fellow countryman Nakarawa. Also making his first start here at Scotston in Glasgow colours. But it has been not for it. Matawalu, irresistible. And Patchell, the first sign of him at 12, runs his lines very late. He holds and holds, and that's a lovely quick pass. Draws the man for the interception. Little scissors between the Lions, Cuthbert and Harpenny. You can see the second passing game from 12, very useful. And then Matawalu, he just can't stop himself. Cardiff show really good discipline there. They wait 15 metres before the tackle. And in the end, it's a knock-on, trying to force the ball on a difficult night. It's not a bad night. It's chilly, but it is slippery, isn't it? Come closer. Bind eight pink. Thanks. Interesting that Bind Nakarawa eight. was the first in the support. On the Fijian wavelength there with a quick tap. Bind. Set. Lloyd Williams to uh, yes, put in. Got a knock on the leg last week. Came through any fitness test this week. Referee wants a reset scrum. Still... Cardiff Blues ball. Let's hope there aren't too many reset scrums tonight. As for Glasgow, it's not a particularly bad night, but I think we just like to keep the action going here. Yeah, yeah. Feel is better here. Yeah. Kellogg and his team. Over a decade now with Glasgow rugby, and who made his 50th Heineken Cup appearance last week. But last week, Keller he got his hands on the ball a lot, but he's not the greatest character. And there's a carry, and it was almost as if hit the ruck, do your bit in the line out, and just make the tackles. It took the pace out of their game. And with Nakarawa there, I think he plays the hot carrier to the Fijians' fast, fancy, flashy second round. That's a nice balance. Better scrum. Williams caught in possession by the speedy Matawalu. You're going down. First going down. got to try and stay on their stay feet. On your feet. First it is going down. And Stewart says slippy out there. On his feet. First for you're going down. Give it to you. No, no. Catch no there seems to your body weight. That he, the, the kicking tee. He does. He's going from the wrong side of his own 10 meter line. We saw him warming up, Stewart, and he was striking the ball beautifully. He's a very big kicker. He's a strong young lad. And he really is going for it here. But, well, viewers watching this, from our position at the top of the stand, the wind seems to be blowing against Reese Patchell. Yes, and we watched him kick in, and it was about 35 metres out. We said, he's got 55, 60 there, but this is poor. This is a full 62 metres or so. Well, he's not short on confidence. Is he short on length here? He's not. What a kick! What a kick from Reese Patchell, and it had something to spare. <laughs> Phil Davis is laughing, but it's hard not to. Shouldn't give it the credit it deserves, but that is an unbelievable strike. Sometimes you're just so glad that you're watching someone warm up before a game, because, well, I certainly wouldn't say, what the hell is he doing? Into a slight breeze, 62 metres, slippery. He's got to be careful with his left foot. He smashed it through, an incredible kick, one of the best you'll ever see. But the point was, it was no conservatively point. hit. Jeez. Well, well he, goes, back. he doesn't lack confidence in anything that he does. It's a real trademark to his game. Even this young, just 20 years of age, everybody knows about how confident he is. And long may that continue. Will he be going for those 55-metre drop goals as well? Can do so much. Good start as well with the ball in hand. I was really impressed with the way he carried up first. But Glasgow will be tested him defensively again. Fly half playing at centre could be a weakness there. And remember, also in the Cardiff Blues ranks is Lee Halfpenny, who's over 80% in the Heineken Cup himself this season. One of the great kickers in world rugby. Just has to watch when Lee when Reese Patchell fancies it from there. Even Lee Halfpenny, a spectator. Now. First strike to the Cardiff Blues. What about Wilson and Matto Walu here? Lost by Maitland. Well, it's very slippery conditions, but I'm afraid Glasgow have uh, started a little bit as they finished off in Cardiff last week. You know, pattern's quite nice, and you see the shape. 
but just not able to hold on to a slippery ball. And, you know, with Patchell in the team and Gareth Davies as well, two, two good tactical kickers, half penny as well. You would think that whilst the Blues want to play a, a fairly pacey game, the sensible thing, the winning thing in this match is to take territory and put pressure on, especially with the goal kicking options the Blues have had. So for Glasgow, they've got to tighten up their ball, their play with ball in hand. And the wind is getting up all the time as it was forecast two this evening and across the weekend. You can feel it here at the back of the stand. That is a strong Glasgow scrum. Holmes tries to go down and it's good work from his opposite number, Watts Jones, a battle of the sevens there on the floor. Patchell again showing that confidence once more. And also that big boot held this time by Maitland. Stuart Hogg. Matawalu. Ryan Grant. Matawalu again. Hand in from Paolo. Not deliberate, says the referee. Just a knock on. No deliberate about it. Decent clearance there from Patchell and good chase as well from the Blues. Last week there was some fairly loose kicking and with people like Maitland and Hogg there, you kick loose to Glasgow, they can really hurt you. They have a very dangerous counter-attacking game and the Blues are going to have to put the press on. Really good play here from Patchell under great deal of pressure. He finds 50, 60 metres and then the Cardiff Blues make the kick into a good one with a good solid chase. Very dangerous, an all-international back three for Glasgow. Prince. Grant MacArthur Fine. and Welsh, the starting front row for Set. Glasgow this week. Yes, we'll be looking nine. to get into Hobbs, the Blues captain, Daisy and Felicia as well. Already done it. Dunbar, strong centre. Inside McGuigan and sends us tonight. No, Sean, you haven't at the moment. Out injured, another knock on. Knock on by back. It's clear structure to what they're trying to do. Matawalo is just exploding off the back of scrums. He's coming across the field. The Blues are waiting a little bit for him, and it's almost as soon as he pops the little pass, what's happening then? The Blues come in for the big tackle, and in these slippery conditions, Glasgow aren't controlling it. So they're almost waiting, watching what Matuolo is doing across the field, and just waiting for that switch ball. You can see at the moment, Glasgow, the team, making the errors. And this is a night when least errors could be the winning key. So there is that Glasgow front row with Ryan Grant, the Lion. Two starts on that tour of Australia. Here's the Rebels and the Brumbies backing down against, can you say, the Tongan International. Yes, Handling Cup winner, of course, with the Cardiff Blues. Well, on the far side. Knee on the field. Knee on the field. Played by Pascal Gauzet. Knee on the field. Helped out by his assistant on that far side. Penalty. Three, knee on the field to the Blues. It's a bit confusing when the opposition are in blue, but it's the Cardiff Blues, of course, that's their name. I think we'll just call them Cardiff tonight, shall we? Yeah, no offence to Podapri, but we'll call them Cardiff. That was a relief for Lloyd Williams as well, uh, another fine kick from Patchell, but that's from his uh, normal halfback partner, Lloyd Williams. He's had a, a torrid old time because the Blues scrum half has been struggling in the first, uh, the scrum has been struggling in the first ten. And Matawal is so quick that if Williams is going backward, he's in a whole heap of trouble. Wait. No, wait, again, wait, uh, wait, what a kick wait, for Patrick. Wait, wait, wait. Christian Dacey goes to the front. Five, 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 Just 21 years of age. Great amount of experience in areas of this Cardiff blue side, certainly the pack. Lloyd Williams. Dacey again. A strong run. It's opposite number McCarthy made the tack. Stop finish. Lisa. Ross Jones. This is Gareth Davis. Williams again. Dacey again. 
but the Warriors arrive with bodies there. And get the turnover because of their numbers. Quite simply at the breakdown, they flooded it, but it paid off. Yeah, patient there from the Blues, but they never really generated the momentum in the attack. There was a nice little offload from uh, Rory Watts-Jones, but at no stage did Cardiff really get into, into gear there. Lloyd Williams, first of all, he's just trying to probe around the side to fix some players, but never really get the men into it. Right to left. Dacey, who's had a... He played very well, uh, very well last week. And he's had a useful start to this game as well. He had two little charges there. The first one into Pat MacArthur, his opposing hooker. Made a real crunch that you may have picked up on the referee's microphone. Matthew Reese out of the Cardiff Blues side at the moment and we wish him well as is everybody in the game and Al Kellock being forced from the field here so the Warriors are losing their leader Josh Strauss is stripping off two back rowers essentially on the bench for the Warriors in Strauss and Fazzaro Yes, Harley's gone up Harley, into the yeah. second row. Okay. It gives them mobility. It might take a little bit out of the uh, power that they've been exercising in the scrum at the moment, but it will, will do with Strauss and Ryan Wilson on the pitch. If their scrum Crunch. can go forward, they've got some real old carrying power. The line out, of course, that's slightly weakened. That's an area Five. where Kellogg is so strong. He is, but Harley's tall, six foot six. They don't lose any height, really. Technically, though, um, the captain is a slightly better player. And also leadership. Here's Wilson. Matawalu. I look, OK? He's inside, inside. It was Harley getting involved Stop. in the loose. Then it's Matawalu with the kick. Not a bad one. I don't need that, okay? You pull the jersey, okay? I don't need that, okay? Same for you, first scrum. He's a man you fear, Matawalu, because of the brilliance and pace of his game. But he's also a man that you look at and you just okay. think there's an opportunity. Especially when he's at scrum half. When he's in the back three of broken field, he's frightening. Scrum half, you just wonder. His wind getting up, Dacey to the front of the line out. Anything to the tail is going to come with a... A little bit of risk tonight attached to it. This wind gets stronger and stronger. Williams. <laughs> so long blast from the referee. You. If ever a you. use of the whistle suggested okay. a penalty was Seven coming, it was that. You must release and rule away quickly. That was a definitive whistle, wasn't it? I don't think there's much doubt here. It causes interest, isn't it? Patchell has just kicked a goal from 62 metres with consummate ease and he is deprived of the kicking duties. <laughs> They've brought on Mr. 82%. Not the greatest take there, but the right decision with Copeland at two. He's off to Munster, Robin Copeland, the Irishman. Announced this week. At the end of the season, he will go back to his home country. Here's Lee Half Fenny. All this talk surrounding him at the moment, where he's going to go next season. He's trying to put that out of his mind. He certainly will not be out of the papers. Such is the name Halfpenny in world rugby terms these days. Will attract attention. And that might attract the attention of Reese Patchell as... Lee Halfpenny misses with his first kick. And it does look an astonishing thing, doesn't it, when a bloke kicks something for 62 metres, and even if it is Lee Halfpenny. Because it's not as if Patchell is a hit and hope merchant. I mean, he's a lovely goal kicker, but he's just got huge distance. I wonder what Phil Davis will be thinking. I wonder what the Cardiff players on the field will be thinking. That's where it counts, thinking on your feet. Well, it could be a night of fine lines. Don't want to miss too many. 
Copeland again. Does carry well. Remember the match against Toulon. Here's Patrick. He passes beautifully to half Bennett. Lloyd Williams. And again, the scrum half. Well, it was surely meant for Davis, but he's nowhere near him. That finds Stacey. But it's the gesture of him forward. Scruffy a great 30 seconds there for Lloyd Williams. Nah, sc scrappy minute or so of rugby. You can see the wind picking up here. This is not a great dropout, but look at the chase from Glasgow. There's nothing, and it's plenty of time for Richard Smith to get the attack going again. But it does suggest maybe, even though here, the wind feels like it's swirling, down on the pitch with the distance Patchula's been kicking, maybe at the moment the Blues have it with them down on the surface. And with 70% possession for the Cardiff Blues, they'll be pleased that they're leading, but they may be thinking that 3-0 after 20 minutes isn't enough. It might be that a substantial lead will be needed come half-time. Yes, line. They also might be thinking he's just won away win since February. It's against the Ospreys in the LV Cup. And they'll be thinking long and hard about this, because at the moment, a clear area of advantage for Glasgow is the scrum. And the crowd recognising that fact, along with the players, a bit of clapping and back-slapping all around us in the stands, let alone on the pitch. They didn't miss Ali Kellett there, did they? The Blues really are taking a bit of a pounding in the scrum there. Superb stuff there. John Welsh getting right into the Blues captain. Sam Hobbs, and when your captain struggles, that's good. Well, there you go. I think now we know the answer to the situation with the wind. And I also, that, that means that any penalty you'd feel in the first half, Matawalu, unless he's in his own 22, has got to tap and go. That was horrendous. Well, Stuart Hogg trying to see the funny side of that one, but and he really no real distance on that kick because of the strength of the wind. MacArthur throws, but still from the Blues. The Pinks, the Cardiff team, whatever they are. Paolo. Up from Gareth Davis. Hawk got it away well. Under pressure there. That's all you do with the wind. Take the wind out of the equation by hitting that low. That was classy play from the Lions fullback. Really good. You notice there, Gareth Davis, the high ball just drifted too far. It wasn't bad, but it gave Hogg all the time he needed to show his international quality here. That ball just needs to hold up two metres. He's got a couple of metres, gets his bearings. That's a super piece of play. Checking the wind again. And that's the best way of, way to deal with it, as you say. Keep it along the floor. Stay back. Williams kicks this time. Matawalu was loose. What's Jones there again? Lloyd Williams, good follow-up from the kick. Gareth Davis going cross field. Long way for Cuthbert to chase this, but I think get Davis just wanted the territory, wanted to use a bit of the wind, if possible, to take the Warriors back into that 22 of theirs. As Gareth Davis had that thrilling finish. Try against Toulon. He's got a quick step, and we saw it there in the round two game. Really nice play from the Blues half-backs there. The box kick first of all from Lloyd Williams. Put Glasgow under pressure. They reclaim the ball from the reclaimed ball. Bang. Gareth Davis puts it another 30 metres upfield. They've gone one field to the other and they've made 50 metres. Now Kellogg is back. A throw from McCarthy. Well, Lee Hale Halfpenny is the most senior goal kicker in 
British Isles and Ireland will want to take this, but <laughs> he'll almost feel a little bit of pressure because there's a 20 year, there's a youngster saying, hey, I could do this in my sleep. I took with a, with a, with a play off, yeah? Referees not hotter on that one. They've been told to be that blocking off the line out, obstruction. I wish they'd just be hot on everything instead of being told to be hot on certain things. Well, there you can see it. Keller is between the Cardiff Blues and their attempt to get to Nakarawa, and it is a penalty. But what's frustrating is the game goes on. You'll see it again. I'm not saying tonight, but through the weekend, if you watch all the action, you'll just see something that's pinged in the 20th. It'll be missed in the 30th and the 40th and the 50th. Just stay consistent, refs. Although this game of ours does have a very big law book, doesn't it? Just like it to be constant, Mars. But ever changing and not with different interpretations every month or two. Well, maybe clear and obvious, and that one was certainly in the clear and obvious category. Here is Halfpenny. Straight through the middle this time. As if he had time to get to know the wind a little bit. Having missed with the first one, he got the judgment just right with the second. And the Cardiff Blues lead by six points to nil. If this wind keeps up, though... They will need every point of that and more. Well, and that was given them not just the penalty, the excellent play by the halfbacks. Lloyd Williams' box kick, Gareth Davis' cross kick. Chase from Kellogg on the restart. Here's Matawali. <laughs> so no scrum half, and Kellogg plays the role. Might have to again here. No. Matawalu back in position. Scrappy and it's slow, and it's illegal as well. There's no way the Warriors are going to reach the post from here. They might not find touch. But just watch the wind here. Stops dead, and then it comes back. So hard. And Stuart Hogg thinking, why do all our penalties have to be in the middle of the field? And he's gone for it. And no, they're not happened. going to find touch, are they? Just got that feeling that if he went for Stop that kind it. of angle, that kind of distance, it was going to turn back in field. Hog again. Well, this would be an irony if it skips off the turf, and it does. That's a super kick, but the only problem is the Blues have got the throw into the line-out. But right in the middle of the pitch, it's very hard for the kicker. And I think, you know what happened, his last kick made so little distance, he felt he had to go for a bit more, and I think psychologically, the wind go played a little trick there space. with Hogg's brain. I need a space, space. It is a oh, night for the away. kicker to touch to get the protractor out and get the angles just right. Stop, stop. And that was just a little tap from Lloyd Williams, and it went... A really long distance. There's the long legs of Maitland trying to cover the ground. He's done well. And that's really good running from Tommy Seymour. First time we've seen the Scotland international wing up into action with ball in hand in this game. Release. And because of the efforts there of Maitland and Seymour, the Warriors coming to life in this attack. Nakarawa. Matawalu. MacArthur. Matawala again. There might be a little bit of space here for Grant. To try to get the ball back inside. It's not gone forward. Referee playing this one on. Rare visit inside the card of 22 here for Glasgow. Matawala again. There's Wilson. Good carry for the number eight. This is excellent from the Warriors, first from their wingmen, now the forwards getting stuck in good work at close quarters picked up by Jackson it's forced to stop by the bouncing nature of the pass he so wanted to release his wide men there, Matawalu might do it, Nakarawa, off it goes again, that's McGuigan and he's slipped that out the side but it's also gone a little bit forward as well, but a promising attack there from the Warriors
Well, the paradox there of when you got the wind with you, you can kick it too far. No way the Blues could get there. And when you got Maitland and Seymour, you've got a counter-attacking ability. Patchell doesn't get anywhere near there. Really was. That was an old-fashioned fly half attempt of attack. And what's this? Lovely little switch ball from Maitland. Very intelligent New Zealand-born player. Patchell decides, no, I'm not going to go for that. And somebody else has to make Seymour bring him down and then the offloading game from the forwards good and you saw again the Fijian there little outside break from Nakarawa he's very clever with the ball in hand they were stretched there Cardiff yeah they were they were stretched by a counter-attack and then a tight driving game but it's not over yet because you know this scrummage situation has been bad for the Blues they've got one penalty other than that they've been pretty much pulverized throughout the scrums and yes, it's their pudding, but they're 15 metres from their own try line. And you're certain that Grant's going to come on with the power here. It's Glasgow with the form of the Pro 12. If you look at the league table, not necessarily the last couple of matches, but lying third in the table, of course, start of the season with five straight wins. Cardiff Blues lying down in ninth in the table, but... Cardiff winning last week and leading so far tonight but that lead has never looked so tenuous as it has done in the last couple of minutes yes, nine. Oh, they really fancy this scrum the Warriors and they put a big squeeze on there and they got a penalty for it they watch Jones Way offside, no five metres from the seven. try line. He's extremely lucky the open side not to be yellow carded no there. And seven Lloyd outside. Williams again no is having to play going outside. backwards. That should be a yellow card. If you watch this, Miles, a great scrum again. Williams can't handle it. So keep your eye out. The card of seven. He knows his man's in front of it. Decides there's nothing he can do but kill that ball. He's very lucky. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Kellett, yeah, right. I think so as well. Ali Kellett there. It's good. And he's gone for the scrum. The kick would perhaps have been the normal choice, but not tonight with the win, but also not tonight with the way this scrum is going for the Warriors. It's going to be very hard at the moment for the Blues to do anything other than stop it illegally. They're being driven back with Ryan Wilson, very much favourite here. We can control the ball as well. Came out the scrum. It's gone on the tunnel. On the tunnel, scrum again. Okay. It's gone off the tunnel and the you, tunnel. you put the ball again. Okay? You're not one to advocate a bet, scrum but again. if you can bet in on any, if there's any odds on Ryan Wilson to be the first the tunnel, try okay? scorer, this would be a good time to have a, a pound. Yes. And, and the other problem the is going Miles, for, the, the for the Blues is they have to stay down. Just hear what the referee has to say. Just the mark. They have to stay down, and if you stay down against the Glasgow pack to stop the scrum, putting on the eight-man drive, they've got that bloke with the ball in hand, Matawalu, who is so quick, it just opens the field to him. This is a horrible situation for the visitors. Scored two tries in the competition last season here. It's Ulster and Northampton. He's dangerous, is Matawalu. We are not stable, he's not stable, okay? Reset, okay? But well, they've got a dump truck first of all, and then they've got a sports car behind them. Support Nasty situation. Way, okay? I try. Ah! Really made for a 4x4 four four tonight. Balance, okay? Certainly not a high sided vehicle with this wind. <laughs> Crutch! Let's see what happens here. Cardiff have got to dig deep here Seven. for this scrum. Most important scrum of the match yes, so far. Oh. And it goes again. And Wilson controls the penalty, and it is back with Matawalu. And he wants the penalty. Way simple no, 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 as, because wait. that is building the pressure. And that is building the chance of the try. And we another scrum. I'd now switch my bet and go. P try under the post. I think that's now the favourite. The thing is, with Pascal goes there as well. He's got it into his head that the Scottish Packer on top, 
So any sign of collapse is very hard for him not to make the assumption. Because right now, every scrum, bar the one penalty against Grant, putting his knee down, is going the way of Glasgow. They've got complete control. John Welsh going well in for Moray Lowe today. Glasgow goes there, might have it in his head that they're going well in the scrum, but I think everybody watching would agree it is one-way traffic at the moment. Tough times okay. these for Sam Hobbs and, and his team. Okay. Of course, he's right in the firing line, the captain. Yeah. Oh. <whistles> Please. 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 I don't understand. Why is the man there bringing the water on, not told to get off the pitch, the nearest exit, 10 metres over the dead ball line? Game held up. As he takes his time, Crunch. heading back. No hurry. Yes, right. Scrutinising every movement here, the referee. Up they come again. Welsh is standing up. Well, the whistle's gone for the penalty. So any cheers for a try. Okay, two million infringement for your We'll team, just okay? have to wait. It's a yellow card right. coming first of all, so Hobbs goes. He was in the firing no, line and he's out of it now intent. for ten minutes. Intent, we'll need another prop before we continue, but this has to be the final warning from the referee. Yeah, well, that would have been a penalty try, so Pascal goes there, was explaining that the scrum came up from the penalty of Hobbs, and then it moved on afterwards, and he thought the ball was lost in control of the scrum, but this is really odds-on territory, long odds-on territory now, as we can see. Cardiff warming up there, Thomas Davis, not an enviable si situation, Glasgow, who really have got the bit of grip here. John Davis, just 20 years of age. What introduction this is to Heineken Cup rugby. Came on uh, late on last week. Out of the Wales, the successful Wales in the 20 side, replacing the final against England this year in that world tournament. It's a different matter. This is big boy stuff now. And right on your own line in the Heineken Cup. Six. Is it Harry Robinson is going off? Six. No, it's no, that it's fascinating. Robinson was running around there as if he wanted to get off the pitch. But it is Harry Robinson. They're never going to tap. I'm thinking, what's going on here? It can't, kind of can't be taken off. Uh, Cook, a blindside flanker, with a scrum five metres from their line. Yes, Cook couldn't believe it. He was right not to believe it. I think that was genuine confusion. That wasn't surely delaying tactics to allow a little bit more air to get in the uh, Cardiff lungs. Yeah. We're all happy now, I think, that the appropriate numbers are on the field. As you said, the key number to go off was a back and not a forward. It does leave a rather large 25 metre short side, but right now I don't think Glasgow are looking beyond a put in, a drive, and get under the post. The other thing is, uh, any conversion going the way Glasgow are going right to left as we see it is a hard conversion unless it's under the post. Get under the post, they're going for this. Well, 14 of them might be thinking that. I'm not sure about Matuali, the uh, scrum half. I think he's doing what he's told now, Mars. Well, he's got no option, he's not going to get the ball. This is yes, not coming out. Well, this is the game here, isn't it? All down one area of the pitch, which is getting a battering from the studs of the players. Uh, the problem here, scrum, first 25 minutes, the scrum is the subplot, and it's a subplot where Cardiff Blues are struggling. Last five minutes, it's become the central plot, and if the scrum remains the central plot in this match, then there's only one way this result can go. Now the audience are getting involved in the play, and playing their part, letting the referee know that they're restless. Time for the penalty try, they feel. 
Don't want to drive too early here, Glasgow, and waste it. We should listen into the referee. You, I need you, you stay straight, okay? You, you stay straight and no driving, okay? Yeah. You understand? Go up, okay? It's warning for you. It's warning for both Grant and Felice. Reset number five. <coughs> Can you imagine what a boost it would be for the visitors if they could get away from here? If somehow, Daisy could strike one. It's almost okay. worth going for the strike because... What, when they're not striking, they're getting shoved five Clutch. yards backwards. So gamble for a, a channel one against the head here. Go for an old-fashioned strike. Fine. Might be their only way out of this Step. mess. And the Warriors, a little bit early on the drive before, not now. They've kept their discipline. Matawalo is still pointing forward. Doesn't want to go in and grab it just yet. Now he's got it. Gives it to Dunbar, who's held up. And driven back as well. Great defence there from Cardiff. Matawalu. Grant nearly an interception from Cuthbert. He'd done that before last week. Somehow it's gone on from Hong Oh, big drop by Maitland. Referee's coming back anyway for the first knock on. Which was way over in midfield. I, I have to say, Pascal goes there, has got this totally wrong. It's from a knock. There's the knock on. Now look at Maitland. If this is not an advantage, what on earth is? That's not a penalty advantage. It's a knock on. That ball is a guilt edged chance for a try. There goes the knock on. Is that a knock on? Debatable. But he should score this. That is an advantage over. It's not a penalty. It's a knock on. The referee's got that wrong, I'm afraid. Because it's not indicated penalty, if it was a penalty advantage, then... Not for the time, I'm sure. You can understand it, but I'm absolutely with you on that one. That was a clear advantage, as clear as you're ever going to get. I mean, frankly, I'd even go as far as say that's a penalty advantage. You're two yards out from the try line and no one's coming. That's your advantage. I mean, otherwise, let's just get out of the dictionary and just rewrite the word, because... This is not the true meaning of advantage. <laughs> Tough on the card of blues, that. The only person happy at the moment is the groundsman because the scrum's moved. Ryan Wilson will want to uh, tighten up as well. I wonder if Scotty watching in the studio. Set. I thought that last scrum, they were on the on the march and yes, they just nine. didn't control it well enough. No blind side here from the Warriors. I don't mean no left wing in position. Right behind Matawala, but it's all about the forwards first of all. And Wilson. Got to get something you feel here. Glasgow simply have to. That was McGuigan. This is Matawale. They've got something. He wants the man to get it. And it's all smiles again at Scotland this time. No smiles belong to the Glasgow Warriors. Last chance for them tonight. They have no escape route if they lose this one. Well, all that bludgeoned in from Glasgow, and in the end, okay, the the Glasgow. for Gian okay. Rapier, so quick-witted, so fast. So quick, isn't he? I mean, that's where he's just at his best. Power again and again, and for once, Glasgow hold on to the balls. Little pick, no, there's, that's not a try. There is a clear block there by a Glasgow player on a Cardiff tackle. It opens up the hole. There you can see it, to the right of Matawalu. Clearly. Those smiles might well be about to disappear. Well, I think it's, is it Kellogg, the captain? Right shoulder, smashes a Blues defender out the way. So, just watch, keep your eye out now. It's Harley, isn't it? Pascal, je regarde un dernier, mais ça me paraît évident, hein? Je regarde un dernier. He drives in there, yes, it is hard. Yeah, it's a clear block. Alors, Pascal, oui. il y a obstruction 
Le joueur de Glasgow, il n'y a pas essai. Obstruction. Pénalité. Alors, j'ai pas le numéro. Tu veux le numéro Oui. Ah, c'est bon. Donc, tu me dis qu'il y a obstruction, qu'il n'y a pas essai. Le joueur est devant, c'est ça Oui, et il plaque un joueur sans ballon. Ok. Je vais te donner le numéro. Hein. No try. Obstruction. Tackle. Obstruction. Okay. Numéro 6. Pascal. Ok, 6. Obstruction. Tackle without the ball. Absolutely right. TMO Six and Pascal goes there, got that right between them. I don't know. Did, was it needed? And the relief is 40 meters or so the whole way to the world off the shoulders of the Welsh team there. Philip Bonner, the television match official. Pretty clear Come obstruction. Anything but a Bonner there for Glasgow. I like a bonnery. Taken It's by Paolo. This is good from the Cardiff pack. They can survive that 10 minutes or so. Pretty torrid 10 minutes, wasn't it? The Seymour. Caught by Watts Jones. Matawana, the man denied. First try of the night, and that quite frankly is sloppy. These are the skills that at times deserted Glasgow last week at the Arms Park. It's cold and it's windy, and what the hell are you doing, Ryan Wilson? Yeah. That's the worst. He's a good player, but he, he looks like he's been off for a while. That's probably the worst piece of play tonight. The words frustration and forcing it spring to mind. Maybe a legacy of that previous <laughs> 10 minutes or so. Bloody other words too, France. Bloody other words. And let's not get industrial. <laughs> Some of the letters weren't too far off. Crutch! Let's just say it was loose. Fine! Cardiff Six. put in, but again, eh? do Glasgow yes, put the nine. screw on them here? I can't believe they didn't score a try here. It's Copeland. It's coming through the gate. It's okay. Williams. Dickamidis again. Oh, Daisy. Going backwards that time. A couple of occasions earlier in the match, he was certainly going forwards. Not then. What's Jones? Williams. Got a question whether this is enough for Cardiff at the moment, given the force of the elements behind them, force of the tackle there that Daisy fell. I think Glasgow are going to be uh, jolted a bit. They'll be shocked they didn't get a score there. And it has to be said, Glasgow's handling is awful. It's a difficult night, but they're just trying to too many complex things and they're making a lot of errors. If they cut them down with their scrum, they're in control. But they have to cut them down at the moment because they're letting Cardiff play a simple, brave, defensive game. Matawali. Okay, you push five, five ping, you push the player in the air. In the tape. So it's got five against Paolo, Philo Paolo for the push five in the air. He's Samoan international. Brandy Davis, Lou Reed in the second row at the moment. Mitchell Warburton and Navidi out of the back row. Reese, Nicky Reese, Scott Andrews, Gethin Jenkins out of the front row. Fight. Resources being tapped into by the Cardiff Blues during this Heineken Cup run. And if they can come away with a win here tonight, that will be three from four after that. Awesome One start One against Exeter, open. but they somehow managed to come back even within that game. So there's resilience, there's character. Uh, and if they win this game, they will have a lot of those big guns back for rounds five and six. So a really big second half coming up for the Blues. All of the power. Here's Watts Jones. Williams. Davis. Catch all that time is the uh, decoy. 
Time is over. Time is over. Cardiff looking for the last score of this first half. I'm going to kick it out of there, surely. So it's a run from Hogg. We need touch up. Stay, stay. Matuwalu can't really kick it off themselves. Glasgow is the home team, haven't got a point. Have to make that sort of statement unless they absolutely have to. And they're not going to. Running hard and straight at the moment. Matuwalu. And in. And three plays advantage. Jackson. Matawalu again. Having the job. Matawalu tries his luck on the French as he loves to do. Yeah, well defended there. They know when they're coming up against this man that Stay one on of his favourite tricks. Chris Cusseter again on the bench. And we'll see Cusseter. No touch on, no touch on. Quite early on in the second half. Quite quick for Manawalu. <laughs> McGuigan. Back to Matawalu. Caught in possession. He was slow to get it away there. And that will call a halt to this first half. And the crowd still letting their feelings be known. Following the disallowed try, that means the Glasgow Warriors still have no points. So the Cardiff Blues takes that massive penalty from Reese Patchell and Lee Harpenis, and it's Cardiff who lead. Scotty Quinnell, that is, two Scotties there in the studio. They need to tighten up the gun, they need to drive, they need to fix this Cardiff defence, and they've got to cut out the fancy stuff and eliminate their errors. If they do that, they have the win. The Cardiff have a lot of tenacity, and I wouldn't be writing off Cardiff quite yet tonight. And the Cardiff Blues do it. Have a one away in the Heineken Cup. As they won at London Irish in January 2012. Captain Pink. lost their last Rush. five away in European games, conceding at least 30 points in each of them. Against the wind in the second half, but with a lead. Taken forward by Cook. Hard seven! There's Ryan Wilson. Is it to Stuart Hogg? The return of Roberts, of course, related to Sam Hobbs coming out of the Simbin, the front row specialist. Good carry from John Welsh. This is Nico Matawalo. He's dealt with pretty effectively there, and it's a turnover. More issues for Matawalo around the uh, fringes of the breakdown. The half penny put on the floor by McGuigan. You have said that in a different sport over the years. And Halfpenny had enough strength and presence to get that ball away. Halfpenny on the floor, but first points in the second half in a metaphorical sense certainly go to Cardiff. Open the same face. side, Rory Watts Jones is a clever little player, not for the first time this game. He's got very quick hands and he just changes the point of attacking in a game that's getting stuck around the fridges. Little delayed passes. It's a good turnover ball from Cardiff. Excellent start. Good throw from MacArthur. Six years now since he made his debut against the Blues in the in Celtic League. Matawalu using the wind. Now, uh, Cardiff Porter is on the touchline. Well, let's see. He's outside his 22. And the officials, we were right by them before the game. They wanted those lines to be a little bit more visible, and the uh, ground staff obliged. Oh, no. Surely that landed on the touchline. Might have got away with one there, Nico Matawalu. No, no, leave it! 
hearing of the injury to Al Kellogg. It's an elbow problem. And use his here and push his way through a couple of tackles is Tommy Seymour. Atawalu, Rui Jackson, that's a good pass. Just asking hard to uh, run onto that at pace, exactly where the fullback wanted it, Matawalu. Makarawa back to his fellow countrymen. Slinging it around again, the Glasgow Warriors, but it does Six. lead to the mistake as Six. the ball goes forward. Thank you. I don't well, they're passing head. it accurately and then they're slinging it around. And the accuracy of the passing was really good at first. As you say, Hogg picked a good line. It's all this talent. You want to get him into the game. Crisp, accurate passing. They play the short side and it's good. But then when the attack seems to be filtering out, instead of being patient and going again, speculation are crazy. Now, one thing about that Kellogg injury, that's a bit of a blow um, because Wilson has looked very rusty. And with Strauss coming on for the second row, it does take quite an important option uh, away from Gregor Townsend, which would have been to bring the South African on for Ryan Wilson. Talking about the uh, Cardiff injuries, but of course in this department, Set. the Warriors without Tim Swinson at the moment. Tom Ryder left out of the match. Day 23, that was a uh, selection, or lack of, for Ryder. We stand down. Particular game, time, Richie Vernon. Okay? out of the side as well the sure. second row oh, oh, an experienced and tall presence in the pack when he plays grasses from the knee problem currently but again you, you go down through these 23 especially the 15s and you, and you look at the blues and they are severely inexperienced in comparison with Glasgow. Um, they're doing very well. Glasgow are not helping their own cause. I think that's the fairest assessment of the first 45. You also mentioned Johnny Gray out of the yes, nine. Glasgow team. No, no, no. And Matawalu gets one back on Lloyd Williams. No, six! Rock! And on that injury front, given that point you make about the experience, if Cardiff can get away out of these two games with two victories. Use it! And gone deep into their reserves. Stop! Stop! And it will be a major lift for them. Seymour trying to make sure that doesn't happen. And to Wally, well it worked. <laughs> to McGuigan. That's true. Tuwalu again, Rawa, try last week, big hand placing the ball, but it wasn't enough, even to get a losing bonus point, Jackson loses control of that Felice up the ball, now there's a bit of slinging around from the Cardiff Blues, but it had more accuracy to it, lost by half penny on the floor, so the referee goes back for the first knock on. Yeah, you can see those handling errors really starting to rack up now from Glasgow. Yeah, Cardiff also slinging it around, but it had free play written all over it as well. Knock on from Glasgow, didn't really matter what happened, just go for it. Um, that, those stats there, these are not good conditions. Um, half time it poured with rain, so the pitch will be greasier again. Um, but it's not impossible, uh, and one has to say, if you look at last week's game, in much better conditions on that synthetic surface at Cardiff. This is not just about the conditions tonight. Glasgow uh, have had a real problem getting to grips with their game in this back-to-back -back with the Blues. The Kings of Cardiff. Given those positions I was talking about earlier in the Pro 12 table, no doubt that the Warriors would have gone into these games as the favourites. In the last Set. five against Cardiff. Yes, he's had a few cup meetings this season. Don't take confidence from that. Don't take it from anything. That's good work. Copen cut off Matawalu. No, off it! Black! What is out? He's trying to make a nuisance of himself, but it falls for Dikamidis. Off it! Eight! Williams, Daisy carrying again. See number 19, Josh Strauss, part of you that did. tackle. There's Macaulay Cook. 
Push back. Release to Black. Lloyd Williams, patch a little Stop. bit deeper Push. for that. And the wind not such a factor on that yeah. kick. It's just dropped a little bit. There goes Seymour. Oh, he's been ripped. Taken away by Cook. And now it's Lloyd Williams with a long pass out to Patchell. Richard Smith. Cardiff Blues sensing a chance here. Davis, Robinson offloads. Paolo juggling. Dicamidis onto Cook. Somehow they managed to keep that ball going. Williams. Watts Jones. Another good carry for a Cardiff Blues player. And Lloyd Williams sends, senses there's a little bit of space there. Red Tom! Kuzak! To Comedis. Tanova! And the Warriors defense holds out and delivers more. Tanova, yeah. Dangerous times, those for Glasgow, getting ripped on their own 22. Any score for Cardiff takes them more than converted try away, and that's dangerous. This is really good play from the blindside flanker. Great strength there from Cook. Both he and Watts Jones are playing extremely well at the moment. Touch not found. Cuthbert keeps it in. Hard penny. Taking on the wind again. It has dropped, you know. Still a factor, not quite as strong. There's hard rules. Poor passing along the uh, Warriors line again. And Maitland, he's been guilty himself a couple of times. He's getting angry there. And there is dissent in the home side ranks here. Oh, there's massive frustration. I mean, when Maitland lost the ball and he should have scored, it was a pretty poor pass from Stuart Hodden. Gregor Townsend, what he, must he be thinking? He was a consummate passer of the ball. That was so sloppy from Hogg at the moment. Massive frustration in the home team's ranks here, no doubt about that. I mean, you watch this, Stuart Hogg is a fine rugby player. He's not under any pressure here. Maitland's deep, there's no excuse, no justification for that. And all the time. Moments like that will be convincing Cardiff that the victory will be theirs if they keep doing all things right in the opposition, which they've certainly done in this match so far. They've done a lot less wrong as well, Mars. I think that's key. Yeah, limiting the mistakes on a night like this. There's Davis. Williams. Daisu again, so often used as that carrier. Did a brave job in those positions tonight. He's taking it first for his side. Paolo, it's come back to Felice. Holmes on the wrong side. There was a chip there meant for Patchell. In what, It's all right for the Blues at the moment. You know, the uh, siege has certainly been lifted from the end of the first half. And, and what's quite interesting, the Blues are winning collisions at the moment. Their back row are going very well. They get in the front foot and they're just giving Davis and Patchell a chance, along with Halfpenny, to just keep poking this ball towards the 22. And it's almost as if Cardiff, if they think clearly here, wait for Glasgow to self-combust, because they're on the point of doing that, the errors they're making. Here they are on their own 22. It's dangerous for Glasgow. Taken by Harley. Showed his height there, didn't it? Oh, there's a chance here. Holmes comes through. Referee plays advantage. Maybe the Warriors turn to cause a few Blues indiscretions. It's Jackson. Matawalu. Alex Dunbar. Matawala again, well picked up. Needs something out of it, Nakarawa. And we go back to the penalty there. Takao is out the ball. Eight. Eight. 
for Rory Watts, Jones hey, penalised first of all, and then Robin Copeland the second time. Giving penalties away, but they're on the back foot. I think the Cardiff Blues back row have played very well tonight because it's so hard. Uh, scrum going backwards all the time. Just started to get a bit of momentum, and Glasgow needed that penalty. Glasgow are about to make a change, and it's one of their top try scorers, DTH. Can play centre or wing. He's going to come on in the centre. Byron McGuigan who goes off. The Canadian international comes on for the Namibian. Maitland goes to full back at the moment. Yep. Hog to centre and Indomova to the wing. May just be for this set piece. Here's Matawalu. <sighs> Hacked on, on. somebody's going to need to get down on that for the Warriors. Matawalu, slow ball now. Need some territory. Hold, Brock! Hold! Jackson tries to supply it. Cuthbert's a big man to try and get the ball over the top of. He's a big man to stop as well if he gets going, but... And the nervous fresh. He's up there quickly. He makes a good tackle. No, no, Tom! Now we need some encouragement from their team. No Just a litany of knock ons no at the moment, isn't no it? No it's a really good no chase from DT van der Merve. He gets to the big man, Cuthbert. And I just want to think that's going to a chance of a turnaround and knock the ball on. You mustn't drop your H's, by the way. DTH. DTH. You see, second half. Blues have done pretty well. 60% of the territory in the Glasgow half. One thing I guess you can say in this game that hasn't been bad has been discipline within goal kicking range. What a turnaround. If, if the Blues win this, to have that nightmare first half they had in Devon against Exeter and then to beat Toulon and then to play Being Glasgow seven. flying high in the Rabo with so many of the Blues team out home and away if they could win this boy it'd be something some boost so they were in a desperate position in their first game against Exeter all but out of the competition it was that dramatic good game Rory Watts Jones I, I think he did very well on the open side today Ellis Jenkins his replacement definitely dominated the floor there checking the senses crunch In his first start in the Pro 12 against Parisi recently Set. in November yes, another 20 year old into action for the Cardiff Blues Copeland brings the ball away it's a while it always seems to be there or thereabouts but tonight it's just not gone for him he's so quick isn't he he's got this ability Copeland makes a really good break there again Carter scrum going backwards the number 8 Robin Copeland has no right to do that but Matawalu, not for the first time, has the ability to get himself between the passer. There, tr just tracks on the outside, so when Copeland's made the break, he can't get the pass away because the Fijian is flying and he gets in the way and knocks it backwards. It's clever defensive play there, and very good offensive play from Copeland, who has grown into this game in the second half. Over the tackle, the soft offload, good defensive play, clever from Matawalu. See why Munster wanted him, Robin Copeland. Man born in Wexford. So the Cardiff Blues didn't really want to lose him, but the reality of the situation is that they have. Now we've got a pause in play here, so we'll just mark your card for what's coming up tomorrow on Sky Sports 2. Toulon extra in this pool, of course. And Perpignan against Munster. Munster having delivered a, a big win against Perpignan last week, but 
There'll be a different kettle of fish on the third me on ground. It's your first struggle, okay? We'll build towards that one. Leinster okay. against Northampton okay. in Dublin as Taufal Felice leaves the field for treatment. And on comes Benoit Baroust. And he used to be with the sail shots. Fine, Pete. Up on his shoulder. Crunch! Bind! Set! There's certainly no reason here for the Warriors yes, to panic in that they're only trailing by 6 mil, but at some point they've got to offer more than the mil. No, no, no! They've got a scrum. Still an area where they are on top. That's a while that looked as if it was going forward as well. Strauss juggles with the ball, but at least he goes forward after that. Referee's coming back for a penalty anyway. Interesting option here. Duncan, we're not playing. Scotland are at Glasgow going for the three points they are. I think it's the right decision. We have 23 minutes to go. Rory Jackson probably not quite as consistent. He's not a kicker you trust like we're, but he's a tidy enough player. And this is it's difficult, but it's not impossible. There's a gentleman not too far from us who didn't think it was the right decision, yelling to the Warriors to get stuck in. He wanted them to go over the corner, but given the scoreboard. Ah, that's to me that you No brainer is what they call it, isn't it? I think. Is if it goes over. Responsibility for that falls to Rory Jackson. Terrible decision. Oh, he's way off. Way, way off there. Duncan Weir, he missed a couple himself, didn't he, last week? But again, I, the wind may be with Glasgow, but the wind is whipping all around. Oh, um, we saw that with hard yeah. penalty kicks in the first half. Whipping everywhere, and the, and the restart. Mind you, he never gave that a chance, did he? Didn't give it a chance. Well, rather symptomatic of the way the Warriors have played in this match. But still over a quarter of it to go. Well, Cardiff would love an extra score here to really put the pressure on. Attacking at the moment, though. Packing Dunbar. Turned it over. Been good in those areas once again, like they were last week. Cardiff Blues. They're going to get a penalty anyway, but they have this ability to strip that ball away. I think that was Robin Copeland, and, and Copeland has been superb in the second half. Superb in the second half. Um, now, what the Blues have, Glasgow don't have. Whatever way the wind is going, they got a bloke in Reese Patchell who kicks it a lot further out of hand. Copeland does a great job for his team there. And again, the Blues are just taking territorial control of this game. And you're absolutely right. Um, if they could kick a penalty here, 9-0, with the amount of mistakes Glasgow are making and the pressure they're putting on themselves, that is a bit of a mountain. 9-0 would be a huge lead here. Crowd call for the knock straight from the referee, they get their wish. Just a bit of control there from the Cardiff Blues the next few minutes of this match. Should have been the deciding minutes. Not straight at the line out. Gives the Warriors a chance to get straight back into it. Just bang that ball downfield. Yeah, well that's where Lee Halfpenny comes into the game. He covers uh, the wide acres at fullback better than anyone in the world, I think. I don't think he has for Lau's explosive pace, and he doesn't have the touch of, of Willie LaRue, but he's a really intelligent footballer. He patrols and he marshals that back so well. 
crunch. And Israel Dag, where does he fit in? High. He's high Five. up too. He's very clever. Very clever. Set. Yes. <laughs> this will suit the Blues, won't it? A couple of collapsed scrums. The one area when there's been a bit of momentum and a, and a bit of oomph for Glasgow has been the scrum, and if it's collapsing there, it just gets worse. Wait, wait my pause. They were 41-3 down at one stage against Exeter. Finished 44-29, quite remarkable match Crunch. that was. Flowing. This is muck it out here tonight. And the Blues are doing that. Matawalu. Seymour. Matawalu again. Jackson trying to run it again. And he's stripped again. And here's a chance for the Cardiff Blues and Patchell. Patchell heading off and still going. Showing good fleet of foot but also strength as well. Lloyd Williams to Copeland once more. He's having this excellent second half. Jackson came forward flat there. They tried to run it out, just wonder why. There was no big kick downfield play in the Cardiff Blues half but it's certainly in the Warriors half now deep okay, inside 15. it with half penny leave it 15 right Hobbs the captain Williams Bruce goes on Cook helping out on this near side he's had a strong game as well Strong in the breakdown, strong in the tackle. Williams, if he can lead this. Lloyd Williams again. Taking some energy here out of the Warriors, but also some minutes out of the match and looking for this all important next score. That was tough, but. Chance now. Not ruling away quickly. Tackle. Half and he has Tackle. to go for three points here. And yet again, Glasgow self destructing. Playing from 75 meters out when they can't keep hold Captain. of the ball. And again, they're stripped. The back One row more. of the Blues are having a party in this second half. Rory Rock Watts Jones has played very well. But look at his replacement. Brilliant there, number 20. Ellis Jenkins, Wales under 20 captains in the World Cup this summer, and then Patchell is off, ball in one hand, threatening. Captain. Let me know what you want after penalty kick. Oh, and there's a Brian O'Driscoll flip through the legs there, Miles, as well. And Patchell, we said, you can move him out from 10 to 12 because he carries very well. Now, this Jenkins played really well in that tournament in the summer. And he's certainly one to watch. He's only he's wearing 20, he's only 20, but in that tournament it's pretty obvious that he has the ability to play way beyond those years. Done well at seven, haven't they, tonight, Cardiff? Watts Jones had a very good hour or so, and the youngsters come on, and he's making real impact. Now, this is a, a major kick for the Blues. This puts them in a very strong position, if it goes over, because it's a very strong wind. That's why it's the if, even though it is Lee Halfpenny. But what a big kick this is in the context of this match. And this Paul Halfpenny, he's done it. He's judged it to perfection. And the backup Blues are doing the region proud. But there's one of their biggest names, Lee Halfpenny, who delivers a superb kick here to give Cardiff a nine-point lead and the reinforcements arrive for the Warriors. The shape of that kick, it starts at the left post, it fades to the right and it only just gets through there.
wickedly difficult win. You compare Rory Jackson to 10, 10 minutes ago and that one. Wonderful kick. It's the end for Jackson who tried to run that ball from round his own 22 and it's proved very costly indeed. Duncan Weir comes on. Also change there, you can see it at Hooker. Hall, Dougie Hall on for MacArthur. Kalman's on for Welsh. And also Chris Cusseter is on to join Weir at half back. And for the Cardiff Blues, we have Andres Pretorius back from injury onto the field as well. Ankle injury against Munster a couple of weeks ago. He replaces the Comedis. The magnitude of the Cardiff's performance is summed up by that bench. Hall on, Cusseter on, we're all internationals. Just over 14 minutes to sort it for the Glasgow Warriors. Otherwise, it's a home defeat to add to their losses on their travels to Toulon. But even in defeat, they offered an awful lot that day. The losers against the Cardiff Blues last week. That could prove to be the killer moment, the one that put them into a mental state that they weren't really able to take it on here or recover here but Weir puts it towards the corner as I say there's still time to get this right even though it does require two scores now if that had been the Blues there I think Hartpenny or Patchell would have been looking for goal get it to 9-3 still quarter an hour plenty of time and they're not that close to the try line Paul throw finds Harley Going to be another penalty. Still weird, doesn't look anywhere near the post. Musakin, the lifter at the back, okay? It's penalty, okay? I'll let your time take, talk with your players. Two minutes of football. No, sorry, lifter, Musakin, jumper. Musakin, the lifter, okay? We can, we can take the jumper, no problem. Musakin, the lifter at the back. Talk with your players, I wait, I wait. I wait. It's not going to change, Sam Hobbs. Penalty's been given. For the corner, it is a corner ish. It's a big call. How many more opportunities will Glasgow get to get within 10 meters of the try line? So maybe that's why they've decided let's get there now and let's get this score. But it's a little bit like that scrum sequence in the first half. This is a vital import and it's not straight. I just think everything tonight has gone wrong for Glasgow, from their handling to their decision making. It's been horrible so far. Yes, there's not too many crumbs of comfort on this particular table. Way off there, Doogie Hall just come off the bench, looking for Harley again, but clearly not straight easy call for the officials uh, again you know the percentages when you go for these seven point gambles how often do they come off the answer is not I'm very sure often and look away. at glasgow tonight they've had four penalty kicks at goal turned down they've gone for the corner they've come away with nothing it's easy in hindsight but if you look at those records over the years teams that take the three points tend to be the teams that win there are moments sometimes when you just get the momentum and you feel it's right and you go for it. But Glasgow have almost done it by rote today and it just feels wrong. Fine. Set. Yes, nine. Fed at the scrum. Lifeline time. Free kick though, so there's no kick for goal here. Got to go for the scrum. It's the one area where there have been some crumbs of comfort. Overwhelming control at the scrum and in, in a game that hasn't been fast and there hasn't been a lot of broken field brilliance, it's, it's, it's bizarre that you can have so much control of the one set piece. Utter dominance and yet be 9-0 down. Off goes 
Tyrone Holmes. You can see, on comes Chris Fazzara, who himself was substituted last week. Close, close. Crunch! Bang, hey, bro. Got to score now, really, the Warriors. They want to stay in this Heineken Cup. Set! Yes, I. Cut it away. It's the power on from the scrum again. Picked up by Wilson. What a tackle. That's great work. Long from Weir to uh, Dunbar. Warriors have a chance to set it up in midfield. Chance they need to take here. Patrick makes the tackle, but for once he's backpedalling. Cassata. Pizarro gets involved. Here's Wilson again. Cassata. From the Marva. One of his famous swills in the tackle. He's done really well. Cassata looks inside. Oh, it's there! Ryan Grant underneath the post as well. Duncan Weir drops a goal, there's still 10 minutes to go, so they know now there's some urgency. In the end, Cardiff's great defence is crap. There's been so much territory first half in the last couple of minutes. You just felt maybe it's not going to come. Good, strong K there, Ryan Grant. He's been a demolition man in the scrum. Now he's the man to hurt Cardiff in the moose. Well, after the disallowed effort from Matawala in the first half, it's worth looking for any infringement. There was a bit of pushing and shoving, but it was just too wide a gap, really, for the Cardiff Blues to defend in the end. And Ryan Grant with the first try of the night. And that snap drop Outside. goal conversion Outside. and Glasgow just trailing by two now we knew they simply had to score on that attack and now that they have anything's possible again in this pool okay, yeah, nothing, nothing. for both of these two Look from Seymour it's gone a long way and the mark has been called for by Davis Nice play that. Lee Halfpenny kicked the last time. Halfpenny and, and Robinson chased up. And Davis, he just dropped deep. So the 10 didn't, the 10 just filtered back when the international halfback did that. Here's the drop goal from Weir. But his clearance from the mark isn't that far. And Glasgow have territory. Doogie Hall needs to get this one right, he's not risking it. Simple ball to the front of the line out. No, not straight there. Another little ball to Wilson. And here come the Warriors as they look to use that channel hog onto Maitland. Maitland. A lot of anger coming out here from the Warriors. They've played so poorly tonight, they will know that. But it won't matter if they finish on the winning side. Here's Fazzaro. No! Well, the referees seem to be indicating it was play on, but then I was not so sure. It's a knock on. He got a call, didn't he, from his assistant referee on the far side. All in the second, you thought another turnover from the Blues, and that could be fatal to Glasgow's hopes, but still. Six minutes to go, and you do feel now that try has uh, injected some degree of hope and belief. And it was, it was wavering, wasn't it? It was, it was dissipating out of this ground. Just time here for both sides to gather themselves for one final push, literally here at this scrub. 
Booker coming off. JC played decently, didn't he? In the loose, hard old time in the scrum, but he kept going. While Breeze comes on, certainly kept going in the loose. What a bruising night, really. Well, hard for his team. Mark Breeze just had freshness on the bench at this stage. Also, straight into the heart of the battle now. Crutch! Fine! Trusting alignment here, Set. make them right behind the wheel, making yes, it hard right. for the Blues to know which way they go till late. Oh, loss of control at the base of the scrum, and Lloyd Williams able to bring it away, but it's picked up by Maitland. Forget that alignment, it was time to go back quickly just in case the Blues had stolen it again. Oh, Jenkins hoofs the ball away there. That will take some time out of the game. Geez, there are some errors here. The Glasgow scrum in control, but they don't control the ball. And then it breaks to Lloyd Williams, and he throws a horrible pass that just has to be shin 10 metres. That ball should be 50 metres downfield. Down Again, the ball squirts out. And later on here, that's the knock-on. Good pressure initially, but Lloyd Williams' pass there was awful. That ball just had to go downfield. Fine! Set! Yes, Ryan! Cassata. Well, Glasgow keep the ball to put in. I don't want to be hanging around too so long here if the scrum is okay. not going absolutely right. Nothing. Nothing. Sure. Of course, they wouldn't mind one or two scrums on the hope. I mean, it has been a, a, a performance short of accuracy and a little bit short of ideas. The one thing they do know is they do have a dominant scrum, and maybe they're still thinking win slightly in our favour. We got Duncan Weir on. We get a penalty for the scrum. Do we win it that way? Crutch. It wouldn't be the first time a European Fine. team has thought such thoughts. Set. Yes, Ryan. I think they are going for that mark. What's wrong with Yes, come. Yes, come. Well, time off, so no loss of seconds here. We are a new player, okay? Before was very good, the strength, okay? Now it's terrible, okay? It's your responsibility, say boss team, okay? You, be, you must be on the scrum, no going to help, okay? Boss team. Are you happy? Thanks. It's a real fillip for Doogie Hall and Calman, isn't it? He was brilliant before, but it's terrible now. Okay. Got to get the body positions right now because for Glasgow, this is the launch pad to a late and when well, they were 9-0 down, what would have to be seen as a, a rather surprising victory. Change, hoping the clock had just flipped on a second or two. Every second counts now. Captain. Thomas Davis back onto the field to replace Sam Hobbs. Saw him earlier when Hobbs was in the sim bin. Remember, top of the pool tonight. If the Cardiff Blues win this match. No, no. Okay. Don't move, okay? No. Blues will be on 13 points to one who play extra tomorrow will be on 10, extra 7. Bozo at the moment Set. just getting one losing bonus to go to 6. They get a penalty here. It might be a whole lot more than a losing bonus point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they were playing for. Sensed and it. now they've got it. Sensed it. Not a lot of ambition, not a lot of accuracy, but a lot of strength in the scrum. 
uh, Duncan Weir. It has not been the sort of night where you just yeah, think actually, this kick's going over, it's, yeah, it's written yeah, in the stars. Yeah, like, Things uh, just haven't so happened for Glasgow. But Weir hasn't been on long. As said before, he's a slightly better kicker, slightly longer kicker than Rory Jackson, and Townsend looks on and he thinks, I've got my man on now. Is it going to be a, a, the ideal substitution? I think the expression there of Gregor Townsend said it all. Glasgow Warriors European season, in effect, hinges on this kick. We're then, and it never had a chance. Are the Warriors going to get another chance in this final two minutes? Well, they gambled on the scrum. They went for the grind. They got the penalty, but then we're 45 metres out. It's a hard kick. It took a minute when there's only three left on the clock. There's only 100 seconds left, and Patchell can and does go long. Yes, he hurried with the drop goal conversion, but wanted to take time on that one. From the murder. Oh, smash again. Time it was Paolo coming through. He's done that along with Copeland so well tonight. Exerting big pressure on the half back. Makarawa. Cusseter. Will Strauss. Well, hands in was really supporting his own weight there well it's a big it's a big chance for Glasgow here they've got what they want they don't actually want quick ball 40 meters out because they can't do anything with it no no come on, come on. what they can do <laughs> is force another penalty from a scrum and this time this Yes, night. Such a different game to last week. A fast, furious match on the artificial surface at the arms part. Well, they didn't keep it in the scrum. Yeah. No hands, no hands. It was a much Let's better see. scrum from the Cardiff Blues. Drop goals from distance not easy on a night like this either. Any mistake now from the Glasgow Warriors? And they'll be out of the match and probably out of the race with qualification. Mathematically not, but realistically, no, no. they would be. The driving game, the stealing game. The Cardiff Blues are in there again. And they have won again. 50 minutes into their Heineken Cup season, it all looked over for the Cardiff Blues, but now it is anything but over with these back-to-back -back wins against the Glasgow Warriors. They have Exeter and Toulon to come in January. Not easy, but still really on, really on. And Reese Patchell knows it, and his long-range kick in the end, the difference between the two teams. Well, the Blues could dare to dream after that terrible first half in, Ex uh, in Exeter. They go to Toulon and they have a sniff. If their scrum doesn't improve, then they really won't have any chance.